Pacing strategies, like how should I pace a headwind and how should I pace like a tailwind? Strong like a tree, there's roots where I stand. Oh, I've been running from the law. Hope they won't shoot me down soon. Uh, it's a question that I get asked all the time and generally if you're asking this question you are going to be like a, a time trialist or a triathlete that you you just want to find like those performance gain, gains it's a, it's a complex area like if you read like a lot of the articles about like pacing strategies you'll always find that aero is the most po important into like a headwind but it's the opposite way around for like most people and the reason for this is that you cannot sustain like a full aero position into uh, a head and a tailwind and that doesn't matter if it's a 10 mile time trial or a 112 mile Ironman so what you always need to be aware of is say for example we're riding a 10 mile time trial like generally unless it's on a, a circuit you're going to go out to a, a specific point like a roundabout and you're going to come back so what you want to do is if you've got a, a sustainable pace that you're going to do like 300 watts into the headwind you want to generate between like 310 to 320 so you want to produce like a lot more power going into like that headwind and generally that's what i would say that it's all more like position two on your bike where it's not as aggressive you can generate like the power that the head isn't as down but you, you you're able to get like the power pushing out If it's a tailwind, then that's when you, you want to utilize like aerodynamics a lot more. And that's when, you know, like we're, we're more in like this really low position then, you can kick in the aero. And everybody's gonna have to do something different into that tailwind section, whereby some people might have to ro rotate the shoulders, other people are gonna have to like drop the head in and into like that tail position, or they're trying to send the chin down to the hands. And uh, for a lot of people that you can save energy into like that tailwind section, or if you're going downhill again you're able to save like that energy which ultimately will it'll bring you a much faster time and it was the art for me of learning to, to, to pace it took me until it was about 2012 that I, I learned that art so it's definitely something to, to bring into like your own training if you're regularly riding like a 10 mile time trial or whatever event it is it is but try and do it in different ways and i'll guarantee you that the fastest way is that way of, of pacing really and it's the same going back to like the, the pacing strategy is if you've got like a a climb then always you want to be laying the power over the crest of the, of the climb don't go into the red too much get the speed back up and then you can utilize the aero position going down the hill so uh, give it a try and let me know how you get on